Let me show you how to set up a Facebook business page the right way, step by step. And I want to show you some important settings that you want to change when you set up your Facebook business page. Now, there's two reasons why you may want to set up a Facebook business page. One is if you ever want to run ads on Facebook, that requires you to run it through a Facebook business page. So it requires you to set one up for that. And a lot of people set up a Facebook business page to post organic content that could be text, videos, photos to just grow that page and then get more recognition for your brand or sell your products organically. And I'll show you some examples here after we build our page on exactly what you need to do. And I have some more resources at the end. If you want to learn how to run ads and things like that, I have some free resources for that as well. Now to create a Facebook business page, you could either click the link in the description of this video. That's going to bring you to this page to create a page from here. Or you could go to your personal Facebook account. Let me show you that. And on your personal Facebook account, you just have to come up here and click this menu right over here. And from this menu, you could also create a page. Just go to this section page and then it's going to bring you over here and you could go ahead and create a page from here. Now you do need a personal Facebook account. So I'm already logged into my personal account. Facebook doesn't let you create a Facebook business page if you don't have a personal account connected to it for security reasons. So I'll walk you through step by step on exactly what to do from this point forward. The very first thing is you want to name your page that is required. So typically that will be the name of your brand or your company. If you're growing it around your personal brand, you could put your name over here as well. So I have an AI education platform. So I put that name over here, the category. So you could go ahead and just type something for it to find it. So let's see if online education, there we go, education website. And you could have multiple different categories. I believe you could have three different categories if you need more than one. In this case, I only need this one. A bio, this is optional, but it's always recommended that you type something in over here. So here's my bio and it goes right over here. Skill Leap AI is an online platform for teaching AI with tutorials and courses. So that will show up just like this. So you could see it update in real time. Just press create pages after that. Okay, on the next page, very straightforward. First, typing your website URL. So we have one skillleap.ai. The phone number should be your business number. If you don't have one, you could get one from Google Voice. That assigns you a free number. So you could put that here instead of your personal number. Your business email will go over here. And then if you do want to put your location, in this case, this is an online business, so no location necessary. And if you have hours, again, if you're a physical store, you could put in your hours over here and then go to the next page. And down here, it's going to give you a page health. So based on the amount of information you fill out, this will go towards the green here. So I left some information like my phone number out. Then with every page, you have two pictures that people are going to see. The first one is your profile picture that goes right in here. And then you have this other picture, which is your cover photo that goes in the background. And I always recommend you click this little toggle here to look at it on mobile view because a lot of people use the mobile app for Facebook. So they're going to see your page this way. So make sure it's going to look good for both. So for mine, I added my logo here in this box and I added this cover image. Now, if you're not familiar with how to make these, let me show you just the resource you've probably used before. If you go to canva.com, you could actually search for Facebook cover photo and they have a ton of different templates that you could choose from. And a lot of these are going to be completely free. You don't have to pay for Canva in order to use them. But if any of these look good to you, like for example, this one's pretty straightforward. You could click on it and it's going to let you customize this template where you could type in your own text and change out any of the images you see. Now, I do have a complete Canva tutorial that I'll link below because when you have this Facebook page, you're going to want to create a lot of different content for it. It could be ads. It could be organic content. Maybe you'll want to change that cover image at some point. With Canva, you could do all that for free and that tutorial walks you through exactly how to do it. Now there's something over here called an action button. So you could go ahead and click this and try it out. And these are the different options if it makes sense for what you have with your business. So if you have an option for booking an appointment or starting an order over here or for signing up, you could go ahead and do that. In this case, this is a subscription platform with a free trial. So I do want to go ahead and press sign up and then it's going to ask you where do you want to send people. So skillleap.ai will have that free sign up page. I'll press save there. Let me go to the next page here. Now, because Facebook and WhatsApp are owned by the same company, Meta, they own Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, it's going to ask you to link to your WhatsApp if you want to get messages through WhatsApp. In this case, I don't use WhatsApp much, so I'm going to skip that. 
If you want to invite friends to this page, this is the place to do it. This is going to be people you already are friends with on Facebook. So you could just skip this section because I just want to build this out with a new audience, but that's a great way to get some initial engagement with your Facebook page and staying informed. Again, this is related to notifications. You could turn these on or off over here. I'm going to turn them off and press done. And there we go. It's going to give you a little tour. I'm going to skip this for now. And this is what your banner image looks like. So make sure this kind of fits nicely. So if you need to go back to Canva and redesign it, you could always edit the cover photo and choose a new one. And you could always reposition it too. So that's going to let you move it up and down if it doesn't quite fit. And then make sure you always press save changes over here anytime you make a change. Now, before I show you some posting options on some things you have available to do over here to grow your page organically, I'm going to show you this manage option because if you click this, it brings you to this brand new dashboard. So it says professional dashboard where you have a ton of different options available and some of these you do want to change. So if I go all the way down here, there is an option over here for your page setup. So you could click over here and you could change some of the things that we already looked at from this page. So I didn't add a business hour. So anything you skipped over here, make sure you finish right over here so you get all the check marks and it walks you through exactly how to do it over here. And it says, I only completed eight out of 13 steps. So adding a location, again, if you have a physical location, phone number, make sure all that is included. Let's go back to this page. And the homepage here, I spent some time here where you could do a lot of different things. One is you could actually create a post directly from here. Now, this is just one place to do it. I'll show you another one. But most importantly, it's going to show you everything that's going on with your page. So how many people are following your page, your new followers. Pages could be followed by other people, unlike your personal profile where someone has to send you a friend request. Anybody could follow any page by just clicking the option on your business page here. Your reach, anytime you post, is going to reach some people on Facebook. So that's going to show that over here. If you're going to start running ads, it's going to also show you some options over here. And you create Facebook ads from here too. Again, one place to do it but I'll show you a resource for a complete Facebook ads tutorial in a second. All your contents and your audience will show up over here. So this homepage is a great place. And then as you build out more audience here, once you get to 100 followers, you're going to get a lot of insights about the type of people that are following your page. That's going to show up in the audience tab. It's going to be very helpful for your business to see if you're going in the right direction and attracting the right type of people right in the audience tab. So the settings and privacy page, I do recommend you just kind of click around to see what these different pages show you. There is a whole lot of different settings here. Much of it you could just leave alone, right? So I typically go to the notifications tab and I change some of my notifications over here. But outside of that, I don't do much with the settings and privacy tab. But I did want to show you where that was just in case you did want to change some of these options. Okay, now back on our page, the first thing you want to do is you typically want to just start with a welcome post so people see that right away as soon as you create your page. So that will go over here. And you could, again, just like anything on Facebook, you could add a photo or a video or a reel, which is a vertical format video here. You could upload all that. You could go live on Facebook. So all of that could take place from right over here, very easy to access. And then everything you post will show up over here so people could like, comment, and share it just like, again, anything else on Facebook. So just to show you an active page I have, so that Skill Leap AI, we have an active page here that we're trying to grow. So just to give you some ideas on what you can do, a lot of times for our post, we add videos that I create myself, and then we add a little bit of description here. We use tools like ChatGPT, AI tool like ChatGPT here to help us create these. Very straightforward there. We have different videos that I'll point out in a second. And this way, people engage with that video. And then we could also boost the video here, which is putting some money behind it to get more exposure. Sometimes we run ads to grow this page. And all the information that I told you to fill out, like your intro, for example, your About Us section, your page information, they all appear over here. So this is what an active page ends up looking like. And then again, people could go ahead and interact. And Facebook is going to do some promotion and show this content to people. So this is a good way. For example, we get some subscribers to our platform through this page. After we post some content, show some free value, some people take our paid offer on skillleap.ai. Now, a couple of resources I want to point out. One is I have a free YouTube video. It's a complete course on Facebook ads. It shows you everything you need to know. The most complete video that I think is available for free on Facebook. It's not a paid course at all. So you could go ahead and watch that and that shows you exactly how to run Facebook ad very step by step. 
now that you have your Facebook page up and running, you could also always post free content. And I have tutorials about how to use different AI tools like ChatGPT to create that. You could explore the channel for that. But I will link the resources that I mentioned in the description below this video. I hope you found this useful and I will see you on the next one.